In this topic, we are going to look at the COPA implementation on HANA as an Agile Data Mart. Now we took a look at what is a COPA report and where it lives. So this is the technical representation of how currently things are working. So the SAP ERP system is an application layer. So it naturally needs a database to run. So most customers have some other database certified by SAP, for example, Oracle or DB2. So the module lives inside the SAP ERP and all the tables are living inside the application layer but are stored inside the database. So there is a set of report writing tools inside the SAP ERP itself which you can which customers use to create report on top of the the application tables. Another way of doing things is to bring the data into BW and then you build a report on top of PW, which also customers widely do because you get one semantic layer and you can also bring data from other sources and you can build a report into one cumulative piece of information. Now naturally this has some bottlenecks mostly in terms of the data duplication and also in terms of the response times and the flexibility of the report. So what we do is they have come up with a new way of doing things with HANA. So let's see how that looks like. In HANA, what we do is, let's say for example, we were talking about uh, the COPA report. So the COPA report has some fundamental tables like CE1, CE2 for the transaction tables. And then we have master tables, which are characteristics. So we get that from MARA, which is materials. Then we have KNA1 for customers and then LFA1 for vendors and things like that. So what we do is we only get those application tables from the SAP ERP into the SAP HANA system. And then we build the models on top of those tables into a report. You can build that report using a Bobj tool or an application or you can also use some non-SAP tools. Now what you see here down is another plumbing so you can also bring the data from the directly the transaction database into HANA using a replication tool so that becomes the operational data mart now the difference in the operational data mart versus the agile data mart is in the operational data mart you don't have the semantic information which is available in the ERP system so you're going to be talking to raw tables in this case, you're not going to be talking to raw tables, but you'll be talking to the semantically rich tables and hence the modeling efforts will be much reduced. Well, a little bit of drawback on the Agile data mart is it may not be real time in all cases because the data has to come to, you know, the application layer and then it has to be pushed to HANA. But in this case, you're directly talking to the transaction database and hence you will be getting the live data. So both have different advantages and disadvantages and based on the use case you can decide you know, what you want to do naturally this is an agile data mart and uh, it is a hana platform use case so you can bring data from different places so you can talk to different databases and you can talk to different application layers you can talk to format data using different tools like data services slt and srs so this is in a nutshell what we are going to be doing in the coming uh, sessions. So we're going to convert this into this.